All right, so let's talk about how to use uh, redirects. So first of all, let's go ahead and just create a sample post here. And just note that everything I'm showing you will work for posts or pages, either way. Um, so we're going to create a sample post. And when we create the sample post and we do publish it, then we'll see that uh, the system has given us a file name here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a new window. And we'll see that we have a brand new post and it just says sample post. And here's our, our post. Okay, we didn't actually add any content in here. Um, but let's say we decide. Um, now, if we if we just created this post just now and we want to change the name of it, this is not such a big an issue. Such a big issue. But let's say that this post has been around for um, you know an, even just a few days, and maybe someone has uh, tweeted a link to it or shared it on Facebook or uh, linked to it from their own website. If we change this URL now from sample post to example post, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a two on here just to help us visually rem remember this is the second uh, version of this link. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and update. So now that we've changed that, anyone who had previously linked to sample post would get an error, a 404 page not found error, if they tried to come to that same link. But what we have here is we have a plugin called SEO Redirection Pro, and it has detected a change in the permalink, so it created a redirect from the sample post URL to the example post 2, and it automatically added that, so we don't have to do anything, okay? So if I go back up here to my page and I just ref, uh, refresh this page, uh, we'll see that it automatically got redirected to example post two. Okay, so now anyone who has linked to the old sample dash post, uh, they're gonna automatically get redirected and everything's gonna be great and no one's gonna get an error, okay? Um, now, let's go ahead and look at where that actually gets stored and so you can see how you can add these in manually and, and manage them there. So if I go under, under settings and then SEO redirection premium, this is the plugin and it has its own database of all the redirects and it has some really good stuff in here. Um, we're just gonna cover the basics of adding, modifying, deleting uh, uh, redirects. And so um, from here I can add a new redirect and you want to make sure that when you add a new redirect that the group uh, specified is default. You'll see some other groups in here and we'll look at that in just a, a second. Uh, but I could say, you know, from page one uh, to page two, okay? And I'm usually 99% of the time I'm always going to make it a 301 redirect. You would only use these if uh, you had some distinct reason to do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And so now we have a redirect for page one, from page one to page two. Um, now let's say that there was a bunch of redirects in here and maybe you are having trouble finding something. One of the things that you can do to keep, help keep things organized is use groups. So here's the default. Um, so these are the ones I'm adding in manually. And then like modified posts, I can look at the modified post group. And this is the group of uh, redirects that were added by the system automatically whenever we modified a post or page, uh, something like that. So um, those are gonna get added into this group and you can see here, uh, anytime you see this little arrow icon, you can click on this, it'll open up a new tab, it'll try to go to the sample post and you see that it was automatically redirected to example post, okay? So that's just a way to test your redirects to make sure that they're working properly. Um, but so now we have uh, these two redirects in here so you can see this button up here, I can use this to select all or I can select individual ones. And so for example, we could select this one and delete it. That's gonna delete it from the redirect database. So um, now let's go ahead and go back to um, this post here. And I'm gonna click on edit post here just to get back to the edit page quickly. And so we've added a post and we've changed um, the URL and we've seen that the redirect was created for us automatically. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this post. And we'll see we get a new uh, message up here, SEO redirection premium has detected a change post status from publish to trash. To redirect this link and prevent 404 error, click here. So what's happening is, is detected that we deleted a, a page and that we might want to set up a 404 or a redirect for that page so that people don't experience a 404 page not found error. Again, if this was a page you had just created, you don't really have to worry about it. But if it's a, a page that's been around for a while, you're probably gonna wanna set up a redirect for it. And so you can see in here automatically, 
it automatically set up the redirect from, and then you just have to put in a redirect to. You could always put in like just a forward slash if you wanted to redirect it back to the home page or something like that. But you should try to you know replace it with something else that makes sense, or maybe you have a newer version of a post, you can redirect, uh, redirect it that way. Um, and then also want to go back to, um, let me just look at one of these uh, default posts here. A uh, couple other things you can do. Uh, once you have a post created, you can come down here and over here on the right hand side, you can do a redirect directly from here. So it's going to bring up the redirection plugin interface, but it's going to take, grab this URL and allow you to redirect it uh, to something else. That would allow you to, to leave this post here in the database, but then also be able to set up a redirect for it. So the user would never see this post, but you would still have it in your post database. You can also redirect in draft or redirect in trash, which is going to set up a redirect. So if someone comes to this URL, it's going to automatically redirect it somewhere else, but then it's going to turn this post into draft mode or trash this, uh, this post. So that would be the equivalent of going ahead and moving into the trash and then clicking on that redirect button, you know, re that redirect, redirect link that comes up automatically for us. So you can uh, handle redirects in a few different ways from here, but um, you know, again, this is very important for search engine optimization. You want to make sure you're not getting errors on your site. You want to make sure that um, if you have a, an established link somewhere that people are able to click on that link and it still redirects them to whatever the correct and current page is for that. So that's how you use the redirect uh, system in the Church Buzz uh, WordPress websites. Thanks.